Hi, I'm Nick. I'm the store manager at Power Golf Castle Hill, located in Sydney's northwestern suburbs. And today we're going to take a closer look at the Mizuno MPT5 Wedge Series. Uh, I'll go through the features and benefits of the products so that you can see whether or not they suit your game. So a lot of people know about the Mizuno Iron Range and they hold that in pretty high regard, but they don't necessarily look at their Wedge Series in the same way but the grain flow forging that Mizuno uses in their irons, um, which helps provide the buttery soft feel or the soft feel that a lot of people uh, know and love about Mizuno, that's the same in their wedge series. So if you've got a forged set of irons, whether it's Mizuno or another brand, and you're looking to maintain that soft feel through to your wedges, then the MPT5s are definitely worth a look. So when we're looking at wedges installed with customers, one of the first things we get asked is how much do they spin? Everyone wants them to spin as much as they can, but a lot of that does come down to technique, unfortunately. But we wanna see that there's technology in the wedge that's gonna give you the best spin performance as possible. So Mizuno uses what they call quad cut grooves. Now, basically that's just their technical term for it. It's a groove that's CNC milled into the face. Now the CNC milling is a technique that helps provide the most consistent wedge uh, cut into the face, and it also gets it right to the tolerances that the USGA set for the wedges. Now, Mizuno is a, a little bit different to a lot of other companies in how they do their grooves, where they actually use two different groove styles on their wedges depending on the loft. Um, if you're looking at either the 49 through to 53 degree lofts in their wedges, they use a narrow and deep groove. Now, the narrow and deep groove they've found in their testing works the best on full shots, and that's generally the style of shots you're gonna play with those sort of lofts in your bag. Once you get above that, so we're going 54 up to 62 degrees in their wedges, they use a wider and a shallower groove. And they found that in their testing that that groove actually works better on touch shots, you know, the half, half shots and chip shots that you're gonna play in and around the greens. So they're basically providing you with the best chance of creating the most spin, no matter what loft you're using. Going on to lofts, that's probably one of the big factors in this range now from Mizuno where they have every single loft from 49 to 62 degrees in both right hand and left hand and in two finishes for right hand, one finish of left hand. So that's giving you 75 different wedge options in their range, which is quite phenomenal. So basically if you want your wedges to go 49, 53, 57, 61 in terms of a flow through your bag, you can get that. It'll actually say those specific lofts on the wedge um, and it means that you can gap your set as best to, as your abilities will allow you. With the different loft options, you've also got different bounce options. So bounce is a big thing with wedges, uh, depending on the style of player you are and the type of turf conditions you play, you may wanna go with a standard bounce or you may wanna go with a lower bounce. Uh, once you get above 53 degrees, so 54 all the way through to 62, you do have a standard and a low bounce option in every single one of those lofts. Once you're below 53 degrees, it's just the standard bounce option, which is generally gonna work okay with your fuller shots. With Mizuno, same way that they do with their uh, irons, you're gonna get a lot of shaft options in the wedges. So there's a high probability that no matter what the specifications of your irons are, you're gonna be able to maintain that specification all the way down through the wedges. Um, so you've got consistency right the way through your set. As such, they do come standard with the Dynamic Gold True Temper Shaft. Uh, nice and heavy, does promote a slightly lower ball flight, but you can change that up as necessary. With the finishes of the wedges, we've got the white satin finish, and we've also got the black IP finish. Now the black IP finish, unfortunately, is only available in right-handed, so left-handed golfers, you do miss out, but the white satin's still a very nice finish. Um, but as opposed to some of the other darker finishes we're gonna see from other brands, the, this one won't rust over. It will wear and it will fade over time. It may just get a little bit of spot rust, um, but you won't get that all over rust um, or raw finish that you will see. So that's gonna appeal to guys who want the darker finish but don't actually want it to rust over and, and have that sort of older look to it. So if you're trying to work out and see which uh, style is right for you or which loft and bounce combination you should be using, head into your nearest Power Golf store. We can go through a Power Golf Power Fit with you, work out what's gonna be the best option, fit that to your needs and help you to get the best performance out on the golf course. We'll see you next time.
Hi, I'm Nick. I'm the store manager of Power Golf at Castle Hill, located in Sydney's northwest suburb. And today we're here to do a review on the, some of the irons in Mizuno's iron range. So we're going to start with the MP54 model. Now,